Colombo, the capital of Ceylon, was in festive mood on Parliament opening day. The cruiser Norfolk was there for the celebrations marking Ceylon's new freedom. What these small boys were celebrating, I'm not quite so sure. But one thing is certain, that the streets of Colombo were packed with people drawn from every walk of life, waiting to see the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester arrive. was an impressive arch of welcome, made largely of coconuts, and the occasion was clearly one of the biggest in Ceylon's history. Arriving at the specially built assembly hall, the Duke and Duchess, after inspecting the Guard of Honour, entered for the ceremony. The big moment was when His Royal Highness read the speech from the throne on behalf of his brother, the King. The first session of the first parliament of the new dominion was royally opened, and afterwards, accompanied by the Governor-General and the Prime Minister, Mr. Senanayaka, the Duke proceeded to the Flagstaff. Here the Premier hoisted Ceylon's own lion flag. The Crown Colony was now a responsible, independent member of the British Commonwealth of Nations.